Ingrid receives a late night call out to a beach 10 miles south of Fangare. An orca has stranded. When I first saw the orca on the beach, as I was walking up to him, I was wondering if this was an animal that I knew. And if it was an animal I knew, where was his family? How come he was on the beach? What happened to him? Was he hurt? And as I got closer, I realised it was an animal I knew, Ben. And I'd been watching his family only the day before in Wangare Harbour. I'm pretty sure Ben was chasing a ray. And of course the rays will go to any extreme to get away from the orca. Maybe the one he was chasing went into the surf and being a teenager, Ben just followed him. And he got stuck. It could have been as simple as that. Throughout the night, the rescue team maintains its vigil, waiting for daylight and the equipment needed to refloat him. By daybreak, help is on its way. And a member of the local Maori tribe offers a blessing for Ben's safe return to the sea. Shortly after dawn, I got a call on the phone that there were orca in Whangarei Harbour. And I immediately wondered if perhaps it was Ben's group. Maybe it was Rocky and the rest of his family. Maybe they were still in the area. At last, the long haul back to meet the returning sea can begin. Although still immature, at 15 feet in length and weighing approximately two tons, Ben is a full load for the digger. But there is urgency. Ben has been out of the water for 18 hours. There have only ever been a few attempts to refloat Orca, and nobody knows if the animal survived. Finally, supported by specially designed whale rescue pontoons, Ben is floated through the surf. Once Ben was free of the pontoons, he rolled over onto his side and he just made eye contact with me and that was the most amazing gift that he could have ever given me. And then he swam off. Although she's been up all night, Ingrid rushes to track his progress. She arrives in time to witness an extraordinary event. An orca reunion. Ben is back with his pod. And this time, Ingrid is in no doubt about joining the party. I couldn't believe it. It was Ben. I could tell it was him because of the tattered skin on his side. And he kept coming closer. And then the whole group came in. But every time it was Ben who was the closest. I know that I'll never forget Ben stranding, but I wonder what memories he takes away from it. Ben could live another 60 years, and I wonder how this stranding could affect the way he responds to people in the future. Again and again, the pod responds to Ingrid's presence, as if in recognition of her role in the rescue. We know orca are inquisitive and adaptable. Is it possible these animals are so intelligent they're already responding to the changing attitudes of humans towards them? In a single generation, we have gone from fearing them to admiring and protecting them. And as we learn more about orca, what more will they learn about us? <laughs>